Are you getting started with FDM printing and just want to know what you need to help get that filament and try to basic tools you need to get started with? Well, join me today as we talk about my favorite basic tools. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, like I said, we're talking about the basic tools for FDM printing. Now, what does that really mean, right? So when you buy your printer, you get a basic set of tools. You get some Allen wrenches, you get you know, a cloth to clean off, you get a putty knife, and you get a pair of snippers. And it's enough to get the machine assembled and get started, right? Well, yeah, it is. It is enough to get started, but are they good tools? Depends on the brand. Depends on what printer you got. And honestly, some of the tools I'm gonna to talk about just makes things even easier when you have to do your first repair and stuff like that. So that is what I'm talking about today. It's just kind of some basic tools that you may even have in your house now that can help your FDM printing and might be a good idea to keep close to your printer. So with that, before I jump into these tools, I wanna to make sure, you know, if you're new here, you're curious about 3D printing, wanna learn about it more, definitely hit that subscribe button and join us. Um, we're doing stuff all the time with 3D printing. Um, we've got some big stuff coming up with the new, uh, the new print shop reveal, because that is about to start production again, which, yes! Um, we gotta show up the office. I wanna talk about some of the stuff that I use to produce these videos and stuff like that to kind of just help out too and give you guys ideas on how I get the cool pictures that you see over on my Instagram and TikTok and all that stuff. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. And I wanna hear from you guys. What kind of stuff are you running into with 3D printing that you could really use the tutorial on? Um, definitely let me know out in the comments or shoot me an email and let me know, you know, what do you guys need? What's going on in the 3D printing world that's got you puzzled or curious or just want to know more? So definitely hit those comments. That also helps us. The more comments, the more we get on YouTube, the more people see us and we want to grow. So with that said, let's hop over to the tools and take a look at what is, what I consider basic tools that are good to have around. All right. Now, Key disclaimer here that I'm putting out here, this is, video is for FDM printing only. I'm not talking about resin. Now some of these tools, yes, can be used with resin, but we're specifically talking about FDM. A resin video will be coming soon for the same thing. So I'm gonna start out with the tool that you have to use to even put your printer together. Allen wrench keys. So these are a set of Huskies, uh, a standard of SAA, SAE and metric. Um, the metric is really the one you need for your printer. I have a few occasions somehow needed this one. Um, especially if like one of these gets stripped, sometimes this guy can save your life. So it's a good idea to get both. Um, these are from Home Depot. There's a link to um, a set of these in the description. You can get these just about anywhere, Lowe's, Harbor Freight. Well, I think you can even get them at Walmart. Um, but they come in handy. All your Allen wrenches in one place. They can be really nice to work with and handy to have. So now, like I said, you may have some of those and you get some of them with the printer. I just like those because I can easily flip and go to work and it gives me a good handle if I need to get a crank instead of a little handle. So that's why I like those. Those are a very handy tool to have in your toolbox. The second thing I'm gonna talk about for my Ender 3 in that, I love the six millimeter deep socket. This thing is great when I'm taking off a hot clogged nozzle. So I can put it up there, my hand is away from the heat, I can safely get the nozzle out, drop it out of this or take a pair of pliers and set aside so it can cool somewhere safe, and then I can use it to easily put the new socket in, keeping my hands away from getting burnt. Um, it is a very handy tool, one of the best things I can recommend. I love this, I use this a lot because I change nozzles, probably more than I should, but nozzles are cheap and I'm kind of lazy sometimes. So a good little deep socket can save your butt. So next tool I want to talk about, you are going to use snippers a lot. So from snipping your filament to putting it in the printer to removing supports, the snipper is going to be the name of the game to do a lot of that stuff. I, these are the ones that come with your standard um, Creality printers. They're good. They're, they're not bad at all, they're really good. But I like using like the MC um, 180s, they work really well, they're larger, I can get a better bite and crank off a big piece of support if I have to, but these guys work great too. But getting a real good pair of like the Ardow ones, links in the description below, 
can be very helpful. They fit, they formed your hand better, a better grip so you don't get as sore. And these tend to break down pretty quickly. So basic tools, you will need a really good putty knife. So this is one of the ones that usually get sent with a printer. You guys can see there's not much of a blade on that. I like the Red Devil ones. They have a nice long angle blade that lets me really easily get up underneath the print with a piece of glass and pop it off or even using prying, helping, pulling away supports. That sharp edge lets me get in there a lot easier and also lets me protect my glass. So the putty knife is a great tool. A really good strong one can be really great because this one drives me nuts because it's so flexible. So a good putty knife can be your best friend with this one. So keep that in mind. The Red Devil, description down below. Really handy, they run about $7. So kind of going up a little bit, a good six millimeter wrench, seven and eight millimeter can be very handy. I like this one. If my socket's not working, I like that this has the ratcheting feature that I can get up there and get that nozzle and get it out. So a good little wrench, this is a Husky. Um, I have a good set of Craftsman's that I keep around as well. Can be very, very good for helping you get like the top of the Bowden tube bolt when it's stuck or the extruder when you got to get that. It can be very handy having one of these around. So definitely a good little set of, of very small five, six, seven, eight wrenches can be very helpful in your shop. This tool is very fun. I like this one a lot. So this is a Bowden tube cutter. So a lot, of a lot of times what happens is people will just use a pair of scissors or the snips and cut a Bowden tube, but it doesn't create a flat cut. It actually creates a kind of cut like that, that when you push that down, it creates a gap that when your filament comes down and gets hot, oh, guess what? It's gonna back up into that gap, clog, and pfft, you're, fix you're ripping your printer apart. This guy with his little razor blade in there stops that problem. It, you put the Bowden tube in, you let it go down, it cuts the Bowden tube perfectly straight. These can be heaven when you're doing Bowden tube changes and stuff like that. And it is, they're very cheap. A lot of times they'll come with Capricorn, depending on which one you buy on Amazon, will come with these. So with Capricorn Bowden tubes. So definitely a good tool. Gives you a straight cut every time. That way you're not having the problem when you're pressing that Bowden tube in to get against the nozzle that the filament's causing a clog. So. Awesome little tool, great to have around. Definitely a much needed tool. So now I'm gonna step up the game a little bit to a power tool. No, it's not a drill, it's a heat gun. Mike, why do you need a heat gun? That seems kind of weird. Well, I use a heat gun for a couple of reasons, like my print has warped for some reason. Sometimes I can fix it with the heat gun. If my nozzle's not heating up properly and I can't get stuff pushed through, apply some extra heat. So um, sometimes you can get away with a really good hair dryer. A really nice one can get really hot, but these are very cheap. Um, this one's Harbor Freight, I think was under $25. Um, and I use this guy actually more than what I thought I would um, for doing repairs, stuff like that. Um, you guys have probably seen this in the video a couple times. So definitely one to keep in the books. Now, if you're ordering a Creality printer and you want to do, you want to change out the gears and the extruder on the separate motors. A lot of them are pressure fitted on and you can't just get them off. They're not little screws. That's where this little handy tool that I'm about to talk about comes into play as soon as I get it properly set here because it's a handy tool. And what this is, this is just a gear puller, a very simple $15 gear puller. So this little guy comes in very handy, it works really, really well. I've used it multiple times. You can tell uh, that poor one I've bent the tar out of. Um, but what you do is you slip this on, on, slip this on under the gear, this goes down on top and you just press it down and it'll pop it right off that stepper motor so you can replace it with a better one. So these can be very handy if you're doing upgrades. Um, if you're putting on a new stepper motor and a new gear for the belts, a very handy little tool. Something definitely I keep in the toolbox at all times. Now, the next tool, it's got some dependencies to it. If you've got a direct drive printer, this tool is fantastic. I love it a lot. I use it on my Prusa. I use it in a lot of my direct drives, my Odin. 
if I get a nozzle clog, and this is called the no clogger. So this handy little tool, it is beveled just right to push down and set properly on the, in the end of the nozzle, pushing all the clog and gunk out the other end. So it's a very handy tool. I use this one quite a bit. Um, I don't use it as much as I probably say. If you've got an Ender 3, the Bowden tube, that should fit down for like an Ender 3 or smaller printers. Using a CR10, this guy is not gonna help you. Unless you're using a CR10 V3 with direct drive, then yeah, this will help you out. Uh, but it's a great way to quickly push down, get a clog out, and start printing again. So it's a very handy tool. These run about $20, $25. Um, and comes in very handy. Even the handle is 3D printed, which is fantastic in my opinion. So the final thing I'm going to talk about is keeping your filament quality good. Now why am I talking about keeping your filament quality good? So I lived in Missouri. I now live in Georgia. Missouri, yeah, we had humidity, but my shop never had a problem with it with the filament really that bad. I moved to Georgia. Oh man, humidity is a problem with my filament. It's causing brittleness, it's causing clogs. So a good investment, a lot of people will build humidity tubs and that's probably gonna happen. But one good tool to kind of help get your filament that's gotten too much humidity back into shape is these little warmers. So this guy will bake your filament at about 50 degrees Celsius, or I, I don't know if it's 50 degrees Celsius or but what it does is it heats your filament and it bakes the humidity and moisture out of your filament, renewing its strength and allowing it to be printable again. This is the Sunlu one. I like the Sunlu one. I really like the Esun one as well. The Esun one has a blower that blows, really kind of distributes the heat more where this one I have to turn the filament every once in a while. Um, but what I like about these two is I can feed the filament to the printer while it's in here. So it is a great little handy tool. Um, the Esun one would have come down here too, but they're busy. Um, this guy freed up first, so that's why he's down here. But uh, I use all. Th I have three of these. Uh, I'm using all of them right now um, to get my op the filament that I had open back into printable, ready shape. So, um, so those are just kind of some of the beginner tools on top of what I recommend of what comes with your printer. Um, you know, you don't need every one of these right away. These are tools that just over time and working with these printers, I found I needed. So definitely a good one. Links to all the, or links to these type of tools will be in the description below. So I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you click those links, it does help me out. Also, if you're new here and you enjoyed this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. What other tools do you think you need in 3D printing? Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Give me an idea. Um, we will be doing another video that is purely on SLA, the resin printing, of just kind of some basic tools that I found over time is just really handy to have around um, and help out. So definitely kind of keep an eye on that. Um, like I said, if there's a tool you didn't see or something that you're using, definitely let me know about it because um, we've got a lot coming still. Um, I can't wait to get the new shop finished to show it off to you guys. That is one of the things that I've been working very diligently at we're still kind of almost done with this room and the computers and the desk stage. Um, if you've checked out the streams, you've seen the desk kind of up here. Still having some camera issues and some audio issues, but we're still working on stuff. So we're still finding that perfect balance. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next video.